Hello family, today is November 6, 2017, and I have come on on my son's 16th birthday to make him a batch of oatmeal cookies. So to make these oatmeal cookies family, we are going to combine two large eggs, one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one cup of pressed brown sugar. This is just the golden brown. Now you can use the dark if you wanted to, but I primarily uh, like the golden brown. We have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter cup of regular granulated sugar. We're going to combine a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of unsalted butter. Now that is just equivalent to just one stick. So one stick is a half a cup. And we're going to have um, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Let's get started. We're gonna begin by adding our butter. And our sugars. We're going to start this on a low. It's not on there properly. There it goes. We're going to add our eggs one at a time. We're going to add our vanilla. We're going to use two teaspoons, so I'm just kind of going to gauge it by eye. You can't go wrong with vanilla. It's so good. We're going to begin our dry ingredients by adding our flour to our oat mixture and our baking soda and cinnamon. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Just going to kind of fold these dry ingredients together here. I could have used my whisk. Probably would have worked a little bit better, but we're working with it, so. Now we're going to start adding this in here without making a mess. Let's see how I can do this. I do have my shield on, so hopefully that will help to prevent me from making such a huge mess. So let's kind of come from the side a little bit. Oop, I'm still making a mess. Oh, this is not going to work. 
Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to just take this off because I'm making a huge mess and I don't like that. We're going to take off our shield, turn this up. We're going to pour all of it in there because this is a KitchenAid, baby, and it will, when I tell you it will um, mix this up, even if we put a dough hook on here, it is going to be a win either way. So, let me just kind of clean up this mess just a little. You guys know I'm just a little cantankerous that way. I just like things to kind of be just a little tidy, especially when you're cooking, you know? Things just have to be clean. Alrighty, now let's start this again. Let's get our oven heated at 350. Okay, let's get these cookies ready to go in the oven. We haven't any parchment paper, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put them on a, um, a foil-covered cookie sheet um, to keep them from sticking. So what I have is about a good tablespoon or so of batter, and we're going to space them about a good two inches apart something like that Oh, they smell so good, too. They cooked for about eight minutes or so. My son's cookies are done. Bon appetit, family. I thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good night. Thank you, Mom, for the cookies. Happy birthday, son. I love you. I love you, too.